This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. PS4, PS Orbis. Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge. Foxconn, Sharp, Apple TV. Rumors, round them up, woohoo! Hey, what is going on everybody? And welcome to the Roundup. It's Techno Buffalo's Rumor Roundup on Revision 3. With me, Noah Kravitz, editor-at-large for Techno Buffalo. This is your roundup of the week's tech rumors for the week ending today, Friday, March 30th, 2012. I also want to give a big shout out to Mark Hearn, the newest member of the herd. Mark, unfortunately, shutting down Sprint Feed. Fortunately, joining Techno Buffalo, not only is he a member of the vaunted West Coast offense, but he's now our newest mobile writer, joining the likes of Todd Hasselton and Brandon Russell. Anyway, enough of that talk. Let's get to the rumors. First up, PlayStation Orbis. We all know that we're not going to see a next generation gaming console from either Sony or Microsoft until sometime in 2013 unless things change drastically, but that doesn't stop the rumor mill from churning. The latest this week says that the next PlayStation is not going to be called PS4 as you might think, but instead looks to be called PS Orbis. What's an Orbis? Orbis loosely translates to circle or ring in Latin, and apparently when you put together Orbis and Vita, you get circle of life, which is a nice little bit of Latin wordplay there. Apparently some specs being kicked around, rumored specs, including a GPU capable of 4K resolution. That doesn't mean games will be in 4K, let alone that anybody will have a 4K TV by next Christmas time, but we may see a CPU, or GPU rather, capable of 4K, you know, to make yourself future-proof. Also. Most likely, no PS3 game title compatibility and no support for used games, which is a bummer, but that's how the industry is going. Well, we, we spoke of GPUs. It's kind of a transition. Speaking of next generation hardware, Intel looks like they're finally set to unveil their next generation of processors codenamed Ivy Bridge. But uh, there have been rumors about delays until June, but then not delays, delays, not delays. Well, the latest this week is that the delays will be over next month. April 22nd could see the first unveiling of Ivy Bridge CPUs with a formal announcement possibly set for the 29th. So I don't know, some trickling out the week of the 22nd and then the 29th, kind of a big press unveiling. But we may not see the uh, money shot, so to speak, the mobile chipsets that lots of people, including Apple enthusiasts, are waiting for to make their, their way into uh, next generation laptops like the MacBook Pros, which are overdue for a refresh. We may not see those mobile chips until June, the beginning of June. Uh, our own esteemed editor-in-chief, Sean Piani, has a rundown over on the site of the latest Intel Ivy Ridge rumors, so check it out, because it sort of falls into two categories mobile and desktop, and then broken down into two release frames right now. So you're gonna to wanna to take a look at all those specs. You've been holding off on a desktop or laptop computer purchase because you're waiting for the latest and greatest from Intel. All right, we're gonna take a break, hear a word from our sponsor, and then when we come back, what do Foxconn and Sharp have to do with Apple TV? Possibly quite a lot, stay tuned. It's Rumor Roundup on Techno Buffalo Revision 3. Run them up! <laughs> You know, Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly enjoy TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or to your TV via an Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii gaming console. You can watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, and cancel at any time. For a limited time, you can get a free 30-day trial membership, which is a great way to get a taste of all that Netflix offers. And believe me, it's a ton. I'm a member, uh, we watch it. Watch it in the living room on the uh, on an LG Blu-ray player and then watch it in the bedroom on the Apple TV. Can't get enough. Right now we're watching Parks and Rec on the season three, Parks and Recreation, the NBC show. It's good stuff. For a limited time, you can get a free 30-day trial membership to Netflix. Just go to netflix.com slash buffalo. That's www.netflix, N-E-T-F-L-I-X.com slash buffalo to get your free 30-day trial. But wait, there's more. Netflix is now available in the UK and Ireland as well. For our friends over there in the UK and Ireland, you can get your Netflix on too. Just go to netflix.co.uk slash buffalo or netflixie slash buffalo to get your free 30-day trial. Bloomberg Businessweek reported earlier this week that the Han Hai Group, 
who's uh, a group out of Taiwan that owns Foxconn, in addition to some other companies, is uh, reportedly gearing up to make a $1.6 billion investment in Sharp. Now, why would Han Hai, why would Foxconn want to sink all that money into Sharp, especially at a time when analysts are predicting a fall off in flat panel TV sales over the course of 2012? Two words, Apple T, oh wait, that's three words. Three words, Apple TV. It could be that Han Hai is making this investment specifically to bolster Foxconn's capacity to build large format uh, flat panels suitable for HDTVs. We're talking, you know, up to 55, 60 inches, that kind of thing. Large high def panels. Uh, why would Foxconn want to do this? Perhaps to make their biggest customer happy. Apple accounted for some 38% of the entire Han Hai group, and projections are for as high as 50% or slightly more than half even of Han Hai's revenue to come directly from Apple this year. And if these Apple TV rumors are true, Apple's gonna wanna do what they always do, and this is why Tim Cook is now the CEO of Apple, because he's a master of supply chain negotiations. They've done it with flash memory, they've done it with hard drives before. What Apple does is they lock up these big contracts to make sure that they have the market cornered or at least they have a very strong steady supply of components whatever the hot component is at a good price but in large volumes so that way they can crank out whatever their newest product is way back when it was the iPod and then the uh, iPhone and then iPad so if Apple TV is next it makes sense that Apple's going to want to get a big steady supply of large high quality HDTV panels to put into this product so that if the rest of the market tanks, if you know other production facilities ramp down, if there's a shortage of high quality panels, whatever it is, Apple's got their supply chain all in order. So when they tried out the Apple TV and everybody goes, ooh, ah, I want one, they'll be able to ship them out right quick. Also, just to throw another wrench in here, Sharp's predicting massive losses for fiscal year 2011, something like three and a half billion dollars in losses. So why would Han Hai want to pump all this money into a company that's losing money hand over foot on TVs? Again, it all seems to kind of point to one thing. Where did I say it was? Three words, Apple TV. But hey, it's just a rumor. We'll have to see what happens. All right, kids, that'll do it for this week's episode of The Roundup. My name is Noah Kravis. You've been watching Techno Buffalo on Revision 3. And uh, as always, you can follow the rest of our exploits on YouTube and on social media, as well as on the site and right here on Rev3. Till next time, my name is Noah Kravis, reminding you to run them up. Woohoo! We'll see you later. Bye bye. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by SpyMix. SpyMix, three guys, one chord, no songs. SpyMix.com.